Today I'm going to be giving you my three best drills to negate the three worst faults that I see consistently on this putting green week after week with all amateurs and professionals. I think we're all guilty of it. Three foot putts are tough. No one likes them. Anyone that tells you they like them, there's something wrong with them or they're lying. It always counts for something. Sometimes it's you've hit a great shot in, it's for a birdie or an eagle. You've hit a nice chip, it's for a par. Or some of you guys, it's maybe for a 27 for one point, depending on what your handicap is. Okay, we're gonna get straight into the drills now. Hope you enjoy them. Fault number one I see all the time is poor alignment, poor alignment of body, but more importantly, poor alignment of putter. People aiming a little bit right generally as right-handed people, but also we're just as guilty, people are just as guilty as aiming left. Short putts, pace and line probably 50-50. Normally I'd say for any other putt we'd be looking at pace being far more important than line, but in this case for three, four footers, I want to make sure that my alignment is spot on. That means that my putter face is aiming exactly at where I want it to be at the center of the hole, right edge, left edge, just outside right and so on. So what I've done is I've set up here, as we can see, simple align, alignment stick here. Thank God someone invented these because we wouldn't have had straight lines before they came along. Wedged it on top of here. Now you can hopefully see here, we've got a line from there straight into the middle of the hole. That means now when I set up with my putter, I put the ball under the stick. I'm looking it over here from my eye line is above the green stick. And I can now see that if my putter tends to wander a little bit to the right, if you can see that there, or a little bit to the left here, I can see that. I want basically that lovely black line on my putter here. I want that lovely black line pointed dead square along the line that I want the ball to start on. So you can see here, I've got my putter aligned perfectly squarely now. Now when I set up, if that putter face is open, you can see as I hit that, it's gonna to go to the right with a good stroke. Same thing here again, if my putter face is pointing to the left, even if I'm not, but the putter face is to the left here. Again, tendency is that ball's gonna start left. So what we want to do is make sure that when we set up to this, we have the putter face perfectly square. So at right angles to where we want to go, ball's moving. And there for me, that black line is directly in line with the green stick now as I look down. The putter, as we know, we need to curve slightly inside here. So as it goes back, curve slightly inside and through, and there you go, right in the middle. Fault number two, big one, we're all guilty of that, I hold my hand up to this one, is having a little early peak or a move. We want to try and stay as still as I can. It's the only shot that we're gonna play in golf where I'm gonna tell you that I want your head to stay dead still. I don't want any head movement. I don't want any body movement. That kills the strike and the quality and also the alignment. So we may have the putter beautifully aligned, but if we're now gonna decide as we hit it, we're gonna have a little look or have a little peek here, then that's not gonna help. As a right-handed person, it's very, very hard on a left to right putt. It naturally, it's almost in the corner of your eye line. So as you hit the putt, it's very easy just to have a little peek and see if we've hold it. So what we need to do is we need to keep our head and our body as still as possible. Okay, my best drill to stop us moving is pound on the ground. Okay, now it depends where you play and who you're playing with. Possibly I wouldn't put a pound down with probably 90% of people that I play with. But if we have a pound on the ground, it's gonna do a twofold here. Number one, it's gonna help me stay still. So I'm gonna put the ball just in front of the pound, as you can see here. Now this is a double bonus drill, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my putter resting on the coin. Now, part of the reason that people move a lot is because the putter is really sat on the ground and firmly there. They feel that they've got to get the putter up off the ground to try and get the putter to move away here, especially on the short ones, because we get a little bit edgy. If we have that putter on the, on the coin, basically, the putter is now hovering off the ground and I can allow the putter to come off the coin really simply. That's part one of this drill, but it's not the key to the drill. See here, if you guys will keep watching that coin, it doesn't matter what I do with my putter, what shape I draw. I'm gonna put an S in there because that's a great letter, obviously. Can you see here how you keep watching that point? So if we have the coin there or a point that we're looking at isn't the putter and it isn't the ball, then what that means is when we set up here and I put the ball there, you see the hole, now when I set up, as long as I keep watching that coin, once I've made the stroke, I know that my body hasn't moved and the putter stayed square hopefully through and my body hasn't moved and I certainly haven't had a little kind of sneak there. So you can see what happens to the putter. If I have a little sneak, so I'm gonna see if I've hold it. Whoa, 
there you go we've had a little early move and i'm sure a few of you have seen that more than once with obviously your paying partners not yourself but if we now uh, to do it without the coin because obviously you don't want to keep putting pounds down unless you are loaded if i take the coin away now and i'm going to set up in the same manner putter just left half because it's a slightly left to right i leave a little gap can you see there i've just left a little gap of maybe about half an inch in between the putter and the ball now what i can do is pick out a little bit of uh, there's a little bit of a leaf there or a, a smidge of sand or whatever here just a little point that i'm going to watch now so again as i hit this putt now i'm going to keep watching that and what that does is it stops everything else moving so if i'm looking there you can see there's a little bit of a hole there there's a funny colored little bit of grass there if i'm watching that one bit it means that i'm not now having a little watch of the ball and the putter Drill number three, and this is my all-time best drill. This pretty much gets rid of everything we see. I've said we've done alignment, we've done staying still. The biggest thing I see is either a slight deceleration on the way through or people trying to help the ball into the hole. Too short to backswing and trying to help that ball into the hole. What we're trying to do is create a nice, solid mechanical golf swing, or in this case, a nice mechanical repeatable putting action. Now, whether I'm playing here at Chessfield or I'm playing at Augusta, which I play for at re fairly regularly, or if I'm playing at Raw St George's in the Open in a couple of weeks' time, let me tell you, I won't be playing there. A three-foot putt is basically a three-foot putt wherever we hit it. So I need to create a stroke where I've got a nice, I stay still, I'm nicely aligned, but more importantly, I create a nice impact into the ball so i want to have a slight acceleration into the ball i don't want any huge follow through because that's not going to help me if we're creating a machine or we were creating a little uh kind of yeah machine to do to host three foot parts it would just do that over and over again if i was creating a machine to hit 33 foot putts it would be much longer more fluid and it obviously would be different at augusta here and st george's they're different speed greens but realistically a three two three four foot putt is going to be roughly the same speed at most of those golf courses so to help me do that i've put two tees in the ground I've stuck them in here just about the width of a golf ball give or take okay if i get those so that when i put the putter against the ball here it's square to where i want to go here we know that's going to then hopefully start the ball on the right line now what this will teach me to do is if i slow down into the ball if i use the follow through to try and help the ball get there then the ball will not get to the hole so if i stand here now and i'm trying to use that help in the way through notice how the ball doesn't get there okay what i want to see and what this will teach me to do is have what i'd call a slightly poppy or a nice slight acceleration and a little punch into the back of the ball here this for me is legalized cheating I think that there's, you know, there is no better drill here. I've aligned myself correctly. I'm going to stay still and I'm just going to punch that ball into the hole there. You can see, same again. So I've just done that same stroke. It shoots down in flames people that will tell you, you must have a long follow through. You must follow through. You must have a, you know, you must help that ball into the hole here. You can see I'm literally going to move that ball there. So there's probably not even a quarter of the ball between the tees here. And we're going to see if we can hold it. So again, I've aligned myself squarely, nice stroke. And again, you see how the ball goes in that hole. So there was no follow through. There can only be that long a follow through post ball. So it just goes to show the follow through whilst important and will be there, isn't vital to holding putts. What is, is staying still, being aligned, and importantly, striking that putt in the correct way. So if I now put the putter here, now I'm under pressure. I'm gonna align myself slightly right half. I'm gonna try and mirror that so I want a nice, inside backswing and a little punch through and can you see how i haven't now added anything i've not tried to force that putter on line down the hole i've just allowed it to happen nice and naturally so again same thing beautiful little one in the end you basically can't miss if you've aligned this correctly you realistically is as i say legalized cheating it just naturally pops that ball into the hole each time you get a feeling of how the putter works and you get a feeling of how the ball comes off the hole off the putter into the hole when you try and mirror that you see how still i've stayed not cheating either way okay guys i hope those three drills help they're going to stop the three faults that i see mostly and the most destructive faults for short putts as we know number one we need that putter aligned on the line that we want the ball to start on every putt as we know is straight and break gravity weight and wind will move the ball 
So number two, we need to stay still. Very easy to have a little peek, very easy to stand there and just have a little look or get blown in the wind. So again, we need to stay as still as we can, okay? And number three, for me, the most important, the right strike into the ball. So we want to strike it, we want to get the ball rolling. We don't want to ever be helping or trying to push the ball into the hole. We want a nice acceleration into the back of the ball and the ball rolling correctly. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll catch you soon at the next one. Any comments or feedback, please leave them at the bottom.